All right, Christy, thank you. Eye injuries associated with airbags are a lot more common than you might think. And this morning, Dr. Charles Flowers from Flowers and Suter Vision Institute is here to talk a little bit more about that. Good morning. Good morning. I was surprised to hear that uh, injuries to the eyes due to airbags were, were, or airbags that actually explode are, are common. Talk a little bit about a study that was done about that. Yeah, we've been noticing that over the years that uh, we've been seeing an increase in incidence of uh, eye injuries associated with airbag deployment. And what happened was, uh, just recently, a study was published in the Archives of Ophthalmology where they reviewed automobile accidents from 1988 to 2001. The total number of accidents they looked at was 67 million, and of those, 1.2 million were sh associated with eye injuries. Oh, my goodness. What type? Now, what are we talking about? Is this permanent damage, or what kind of eye well, injuries you, are we you talking see about? Well, you see a full range, anywhere from minor eye abrasions to eye lacerations. So you can see the full spectrum were noted, from very minor injuries to full lacerations. Now, the eye lacerations were on the minor, where there's low, low end of things, very small percentage of those. Most people have abrasions, bruises, things like that. Nothing permanent by large, but certainly if you have an eye laceration, that's very severe. Did they find perhaps that uh, people that are, are smaller, maybe uh, female, maybe women, that because they're smaller in stature, had more injuries than men? Or Yeah, they, they did. What they found was that there was a two-fold increased risk of eye injury associated with airbag deployment. They found a two-fold decrease in eye injury associated with seat belt uh, use. And they found in the, mo in the more recent uh, model vehicles that there was a rising increase in eye injuries associated with airbag deployment. So actually the most common cause of eye injuries associated with automobile accidents now is airbag deployment. Wow. Um, so, w is there something that you can do um, when you get in your car, a p seat positioning or something to maybe lessen the worry? Um, yeah, I mean, basically what they found was that people who sat closer to the steering wheel were more at risk of getting an eye injury. Uh, it appears women were associated with uh, eye injuries in older age. So those were the three risk factors associated with eye injuries. So trying to move your seat back a little bit um, and it's pretty much the only thing that they've noted to be of, of help. Uh, the other thing to be aware of, uh, when I was uh, teaching, when I was in academia, I reported on a case, I wrote a case report of a woman who sustained a major eye laceration associated with airbag deployment. And again, it was noted that she was sitting very close to the steering wheel. So trying not to hunch over your steering wheel, trying to sit back and straight up is probably the best thing. Right now, car manufacturers are trying to develop or re, re sort of reconfigure, re-engineer the airbag so that the uh, when they deflate, they don't hit the hit the person so hard. Wow, that's great. I mean, that's great information to be just to be aware of when you're in the car. If uh, you'd like more information on this, or if you missed anything and you want to get caught up, you can go to fox6.com, and of course, we will hook you up. Dr. Charles Flowers, thank you so much for coming in this morning. We you're, appreciate it. You're very welcome.